welcome again to Dread Wargaming. I don't know if you remember, a little while back, I think it was in January or February, the White Dwarf had a couple of tokens or counters or something on the front that sparked my interest. I don't know about anyone else. I, I already kind of knew about it because just a month before I'd actually bought in to the Kickstarter for... Do you remember these little tokens? These are the, the ones they had two sides to them and they also had these other little tiny dudes one of them's an orc one of them's a space marine now the thing is is that they belong to a game called heroes of black reach now heroes of black reach is part of a series of games called heroes of um, run by a company called devil pig games in france now i actually back the Kickstarter for this game back in January, although it had been running already for a little while, so I think I was in the second phase sort of thing. Um, and I was promised the products in May. Now, they said they were going to drop the products in May for Kickstarter people and then hit the shelves in July, I believe they said. Uh, June, July, something like that. Anyway, they got massively, massively delayed. Um, I say massively, it wasn't so much that it was such a huge delay because we're now in mid-October, so it's, it's not a huge delay, it, it, it's still a lot longer than I expected to wait. It was the lack of communication from Devil Pig. They really didn't communicate their situation very well with their customers at all, and uh, I expect they, well, by the sounds of the forum there, I mean, you only have to go and check it out for yourselves. They had a lot of people that were very upset. I think a lot of people probably asked for a refund. So if you do want to go and pick this game up, and this product that I'm talking about now, I would suggest you either wait for it to be on Amazon or on product shelves somewhere where you can buy it from a retailer where there's a bit of comeback, because going direct with Devil Pig is frustrating to say the least. Um, but anyway, the product finally arrived. It arrived this morning. I didn't have time to open it though. I had to go away and come back. So I'm here this evening. I've just took part in Six Plus Devo's uh, live video chat and watching his live video talking about the Orc news. I'll be doing my own video talking about those same sort of topics myself and what I think of them um, in a video probably tomorrow. But I thought I'd whack this one out tonight because I was too excited to sort of not open these boxes for myself because I've been waiting since January and it's now October. It's kind of fitting that they've arrived now because the game is Orcs versus the Ultra Smurfs. So. Anyway, without further ado, I'll show you very firstly the bonus thing that came with it and I must apologise also for the flyers. Now I've got lighting obviously and I live in the country so, you know, that's what the flat cap's all about. I live in the countryside, boys and girls. Um, so there was also this that came as a freebie for having sort of, I don't know, I don't know quite why this one came but each one of these cards you see, like they've got these punch out so look, I'll do this one here look, I'll punch this one out so you've got the character up there I presume he's the counter that counts as your dude and he's got like some um, different um, stats and stuff there and on the back again different I think that's like when he whether he's upgraded or whether he's injured or something like that I guess um, so that's that part of that dude I'm not gonna separate them out too much and then this this card this little bugger here um, with the bit on the back too so the artwork follows through on the back it actually punches out so see so that comes out of there but obviously clearly it goes back in there so I presume if you're gonna want to keep track of um, which guy goes with which thing so you might need to get like an organizer and they sell organizers coincidentally on there on their website but I, I think I'd rather make my own because I wouldn't want to deal with them again I'm sorry but I would rather make an orky one at a plastic card or something like that. Right, so, anyway, let me first of all show you the actual products that we've got. Right, so, first of all, the, the teaser box sort of thing that they came out with first, the thing that was supposed to arrive long before the rest of it, but never really did, um, was the drop zone, Black Reach drop zone. Here we are, all right. Um, and I'll show you the back there. 
this is what got me excited actually was was the back uh, looking at the pictures of like the map because um, it's all broken down into grid squares we'll get we'll have a look at that closer detail in a little while but it, it's the way it, it looks like a battle zone but broken into squares and these little cardboard tokens represent your your various troops and your vehicles and stuff like that now I'm basically the reason I was interested in this was because I thought I've got a lot of friends that I don't have TV. I haven't had TV for about 10, 15 years, maybe now at this stage. Definitely 10, maybe 15 years, uh, 10, I'd say. But I don't do telly. And so when people come round to me and we're done with all the chit chat or, you know, whatever, it's very rarely ever happens around me, trust me. But uh, when we're done with the chit chat, people go, oh, yeah, look around. I go, do you want to fancy a ball game? Cup tier in a ball game, you know. So a lot of people like to play ball games when they come round to me. There's another fly. Um, but they won't play 40k. And I'm really always trying to, trying to interest people in the 40k universe. So I figured that this board game would be like an easy way to sort of break people into the idea of Orcs and Space Marines and 40k. And they might enjoy it enough that they, I might be able to then go, Oh, well, if you enjoyed that. You know, like, you might enjoy this this little game here I've got. It's Kill Team, you know, and if I can sell them on that, then, you know, we're good, you know that, don't you? So anyway, without further ado, I'm already, like, as I'm, I'm off screen, I'm ripping this off. I uh, <coughs> can't wait to get inside. So the drop zone is the first part. I also have the main big box, the bad boy. Yeah, we'll get to this one shortly. And then on top of that... I also, oh, I've got some Ultra Smurf reinforcements. Boo! And then, oh, 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 I've got the boys. Oh yes, boss, the boys. And then, right, um, some more Ultra Smurfs on the front. But I'm quite sure there's like two pieces of card in here. You can probably see this when well, it's free. There's a backing piece to not destroy them. But there's, there's two pieces in there. So I presume the front is Space Marines. Just because you can like, damage the front one and not really care. And then behind it is the gold. You know, the York stuff is just behind. So I'll open that one in just a second too. But anyway, without further ado, plastic's off that one. Let's rip in. Oh, hello. This one's got some loose bits by the seams of it. Okay, so we've got a cardboard sleeve, you've already seen that. Drop zone, number one, the book. Black Reach, so what we've got here, um, a little bit of a story overview, game overview. Right, so this is a, a nice instruction book. Look, it's got plenty of little pictures to show you and give you some, some examples as you're going through, that's handy. Ah, uh, yeah, it looks fairly simple though. I mean, it don't look difficult. So I'm gonna do this boxing on video now, and oops, and I will also do a a video to sort of uh, review it properly once I've learnt the rules and I've had a couple of goes. So um, this is part one. Part two is coming up. So yeah, um, it's a nice full page or you know half page uh, demonstration pictures. You know, it's a bit like a uh, back of a white dwarf. It's a bit like a battle report <laughs> um, when they used to be cool. Um, what else did we get? Oh, Artie, you're controversial. <laughs> right, so, what else? We have a paper game board. Oh, don't like that. But then, I'm sure there's a better one in the actual box. This is just, Drop Zone was like the sample. But I got the sample along with the main one because they took so long. Um, not grumbling on that. Oh, Black Reach cards. Okay, look at that. Oh, we've got some orky, orky details on the front. Oh, my God. Right, okay, look, I've got to just skim through these myself and should tell you what. So we got Courage. Opportunistic Fire. <laughs> Burst into action. And we all recognise these artworks, don't we, eh? Now, I did have a little problem with, a technical problem with the camera and whatnot, and I thought I was recording when I wasn't. So I've actually opened everything, so I'm going to redo my video now. 
I already unboxed it to a, a no audience potential right there because it wasn't recorded. Anyway, so what else is in the drop zone? We have some two sheets, I believe there was. I hope it was two. Two of each, yeah. Two of Space Marines and two of Orcs. So the two Space Marine ones are here. And I've, I've put all the Orc stuff aside because I'm going to show you all the Orc stuff in better detail. So you get two sheets in of each army in the drop zone, which is like a starter. Um, then we also have two reinforcements packs and the Space Marine one is here. Um, inside of there you get five five various Space Marine army boosters which I'm not even interested in. I've got them because I have to have fair play for whoever I'm playing against. We'll look at the Orc ones though in detail just shortly but inside of the main box once you take off the outer sheeting you actually have a nice orky picture on one side, so if you didn't like the look of the, uh, the space marine on the on the front, you've actually got an orc on the back, so that's that's nice. And then <clears throat> you have one, two, three, four, five, six of these tough cardboard terrain boards. This is about the most interesting one. This one's actually got like an an orc submarine on it sinking in some toxic waste but all the rest are very much the same as this with just craters and the odd little room desert bunkers craters desert um more desert bunkers desert craters desert craters desert bunkers orky scrappy Bunkers, <laughs> craters, desert, bunkers, desert, craters, desert, bunkers, desert, craters, you get me? So there's six of them, double sided, just in case you get bored of desert, bunkers, and all that. <laughs> um, you got two bags of little, well they, they wooden, I think they're wooden. Yeah, they're wooden. They're embossed wooden little countery things. One smurfy one, one decent orky one that are black. Pretty cool. You get one pack of naff shoddy dice. Oh, I was almost about to swear again there. I'm really trying my best not to swear. I, I naturally do it the whole time, and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm trying to show these videos to my nan at the end of the day. So, pack of Space Marine cards. Not that my nan's really interested in 40k, but you know, first few videos and all that, she's probably gonna stick her head in, so I've got to watch the old French. Um, sorry, French people, but that's what we call it. Um, pack of Orky cards, good thick deck. And the main rule book is, again, nice, at least laid out. Got some nice artworks in it. These are actually like copies of. of art that have been done to a more cartoony standard by these guys. Um, easy to follow instructions, nice graphics, doesn't look too difficult. I think this is going to be one of those games that once you've got used to playing it for yourself, you can teach your friend it in no time. Um, a nice old mech drawer in there, see what I mean? They're slightly more cartoonified. What's the right word for that, cartoonified? Uh, animated? Uh, uh, yeah, I guess. Um, oh god, is that the Emperor? Yeah, look, check this out. There's probably a card in there for this. The Emperor protects. Just like Jurex is the Emperor. Um, scenarios. We've also got some scenarios. Um, although... It looks like there's three... Four, Death Dread, five, The Hunt, six, Facial Fate, seven, eight. So we've got eight scenarios to play with the game, plus I suspect there's probably like an open battle, I hope there's an open play battle thing, that, that should certainly suit it. Right, so, let's take a look at the reinforcement packs, before we look at the the, the 
the amazing orky goodness that came in the actual main box. So let's look at the reinforcements. Okay, so I did already start, like I say, I, one of them popped off and I don't know where it went, it actually fell under somewhere. So I'm gonna find that in a little while. It was off of this, this one here. So this is, they've got two sides to each one, as you see, as you can see. Um, this one's got rocket launcher, big shooter, killer can. It's got some shooter boys, some slugger boys. Um, it's got a killer can there. It's got a boss. Um, it's got some more boys represented there. Grenades. Yeah, they're called grenades, not stick bombs. Hmm. Hmm. Someone didn't do their research. Um, ammo. Hmm. Again, should be called DACA. Uh, okay, they did their research as far as the artwork is concerned, and hopefully the game dynamic is just maybe some of the terminology that is, you know, that's that's quite a big ask, really. It's a whole universe of of stuff, isn't it? Come on, we we, we do ask a lot of these people. So this is their first go at Orcs too. I'm already had a go at them for their uh, terrible customer service, so let's let's give them a break on their uh, their production at least. Um, right. So we have a battle wagon, just here. We have a truck. These all pop out, of course. Gretchen mob, another battle wagon here. Oh, this might be the card that represents this being the model. Um, extra ammo, death roller. So that's an add-on for the, for the uh, battle wagon there, I presume, of course. So it looks like you've got add-ons that you can use. They're popping out off of the things as I'm as I'm picking them up. We also have a Morkonaut, a Death Skulls Morkonaut. And this, is, this seems like a Death Skulls, yeah, this is a Death Skulls entire sheet, except for there's a, actually, there you go, Steve-O, a Bad Moon's Shock Attack Gun, a Goth Mega Knob, and the rest is Death Skulls, but there's some Bad Moon's Steve-O. You'll be happy, my friend. Oh, you definitely will be. There's a Bad Moon's Gorkonaut. Bad Moon's Looters, Bad Moon's Looters, Knobs, Mech Guns. Oh, look, Mech Gun. Look, there you go, Steve-O, look. Boom. Sorry to keep name-dropping Steve-O there, but I was just watching his uh, live chat and getting all involved. And I want to do this video before I went to bed tonight so I can actually load it during the evening so it'll be with you tomorrow because I did tell everybody in the uh, comments in Steve-O's video there that I'll try and have this video out tomorrow. The Sons of Mork. We get three sheets of orky goodness with some um, trucks and battle wagons and boys, sluggers, killer cans, dreadnoughts. These are all double sided by the way, they've all got more detail on the back. On this one we've got some storm boys, we've got some more tank busters, more boys, we've got some red paint job, got oiler, extra armor, reinforced rams, so these are like add-ons for you. For your vehicle. Um, squigs, we've got some snake bite weird boy, we've got uh, evil sun big mech in mega armor here. I'll bring them in a bit and we've also got blast markers. Check that out, blast markers. We haven't seen them for a little while have we? That's probably how long this game has been in the pipeline. I mean I've been waiting almost the best part of a year so that is actually about it. It's all based around cardboard counters by the looks of things, which I don't think is such a bad thing. It's, it's quite easy to pick up and play. I mean, if you're teaching somebody or bringing somebody into something, you don't really want to use your finest models for that. So this could actually be a good bit of fun. And I don't think actually the game itself is all that expensive. Um, I don't know the actual price because I did a Kickstarter campaign and I bought a chunk of it all together, as you see. So. Um, couldn't tell you what the actual retail price is going to be but I, I think it'd be fairly reasonable and it'd be a good way to encourage people to explore the 40k universe or to get used to the names of certain things I mean if you can teach this to somebody fairly quick they'll get used to what various units are so when you introduce them to the proper 40k or kill team you know start with the kill team move on to the 40k you know it's an easy entry thing I think all of these easy entries into the hobby are I really welcome you know these are welcome changes that we didn't have when 20 years ago you know so I'm glad of them and I hope you're glad of my review for what it was um, 
Unfortunately, it wasn't quite, it's not really in a review either, it's an unboxing. The review will come later. But the unboxing didn't really happen on camera, so I'm sorry about that, guys, I really am. Um, but I hope you give me a like anyway and a subscribe. It is late at night, it is fairly bloody late at night, so I'm going to go to sleep, get up tomorrow, and do the video that I promised everyone I'd do. So hopefully, I'll see you all soon. Good night.